Okay, so we got this question a while back and I thought it would be useful to answer it because I think it's a very interesting question. It has two parts and the first is kind of asking, what are these different Jewish ethnicities? What's the purpose behind them? Why do they exist? And then the second is asking about this idea of language erasure or better language shift and if it's occurring in these populations. So to start, the Jewish people are a very wide and diverse group and so they've developed multiple different communities that vary from one another in terms of things like dress, food, customs and traditions, and language. So as I said, there are lots of different Jewish languages that develop because wherever Jews lived, they kind of adopted local dialects and made it their own. So this is a timeline that kind of showcases um, when sort of all of these different Jewish languages were being developed. And you can see some of them are very, very old, you know, and some are a lot more modern. However, unfortunately, just because these languages have existed, you know, for hundreds of years, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're still being spoken today. And that's kind of where this idea of language shift comes in. So language shift is the idea that a community stops speaking their heritage language in favor of a new language over the course of some time, right? So they're not passing it down from parent to child anymore. And so this can occur for many reasons, right? So there's external factors and there's also internal factors um, affecting if a community is likely to undergo language shift. So for Jewish communities, some of the major um, spurs of language shift have been immigration, nationalistic language policies, as well as um, genocide. Language shift is also not just something that's correlated to one place and one point in time, right? Every country has had um, some form of language shift occur um, with either immigrant or native populations. At the moment, all long-standing Jewish languages, except for Yiddish, are undergoing some form of language shift and are somewhere along this pathway towards language dormancy. And so that's a really serious issue because language is more than just like the words that you're speaking, right? They carry um, a lot of emotional meaning and they carry a sense of culture and a sense of identity. So this is where the Jewish Language Project and all of these other organizations that we work with kind of come in. We are working together to raise awareness about these different Jewish languages, as well as to do some light revitalization work.